Here's with Ganondorf, custom Ganondorf. He's okay, fun. I heard he's really good. He I is. actually play Ganondorf in this game. You do? Okay. Yes, so I'm, I'm interested. You're going to have to tell me some things and teach me some secret tech, but okay. let's get into the next one. We got Lord Cat God versus t own Dentsy. Um, so you're probably really familiar with Dentsy. You know, he's the big name yes. out there that everybody's kind of talking about. Um, and I'm guessing you've played with him a couple of times, yeah? Yeah, I, I go over to his house fairly often. We get oh, to play so you, a lot of matches. Okay, yeah. fantastic. i got to stop by and say hi to you then. Um, so, so, gosh, he's opting for his uh, Sheik. Fantastic. Yeah, it's very interesting. I haven't seen him go Sheik in quite a while. I know the last Customs tournament, he went Olimar, the uh -huh. standard Olimar. He didn't find a use of the Customs quite yet. But, yeah, let's see uh, the reason going Sheik is going to pay off for him. Oh, this is great. Coming in. Oh, look at this neutral. Now this is what Sheik is fantastic for. Um, while those fairs don't really do a ton of percentage, they're really strong for the knockback and how they can kind of chain into each other, right? Yeah. But is it character specific to the point where uh, only in certain matchups you can really take full advantage of it? Um, from just what I've seen, I don't think. I mean, it's, there's some characters like the on slightly the heavier side, such as Charizard, that she can uh, string those together. Uh huh. It, it's kind of crazy. She gets really good stage presence from it, even if it doesn't rock out the most damage. She can just from one side to the other side, she can just carry you oh, across, yeah. it's crazy. And then just go right into that bouncing fish, it's yeah. absolutely terrifying the amount kind of, of presence there. B&B finisher for her. Oh, oh excellent nice. use of the rock! Yeah, he saw that bouncing fish coming, called it out, down B, countered it. Now does that have, no that has I'm guessing armor on it? Yes, it does have armor. Of what kind? Is there a specific type? Uh, is it heavy armor? I haven't seen Oh, oh baby! Spike. Shadow no, Realm! That. We're done! Oh, and then she brings, oh no he's still And in. there's the reply! But not enough! Yeah, it's problem with Sheik. She can rack on the damage, but getting the kill is really what's, what hurts her. Gosh, look at this! You are seeing such fantastic persistence from Lord Cat God. He's got a really great use of that down B special. I wish I knew the name of it, but I, I want to say Earthquake, but I know that's not it. Rock Smash, maybe. Yeah, Rock Smash. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> we were testing that Pokemon <laughs> oh, okay, knowledge. Okay, 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 okay. It's been a while. <laughs> Fine with played. the forward air. <laughs> 200 plus percent. Yeah. But that's fine. They're on even footing now. Absolutely. Zero, 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 nil, nil. Don't worry about it, y'all. We're going to see what comes up. Now, remember, this is winner's bracket, y'all. So the demons haven't really been unleashed yet. Whenever you're in <laughs> loser's bracket, you see a completely That's different side most, of a person. Most definitely. Most definitely. The great grab. I think he could have gone a follow-up there, but he kind of just hesitated. Oh, going in. Good throw. Setting up, looking for those fares. Not really there yet. Oh, cyclic thoughts. I'm not too familiar with his grab steps. I'm not sure what. I know back throw he can get a forward air off of most of the time until like mid mid to high percents. But I'm thinking the up throw probably the most damaging, so that's probably his best option in that situation. You really want to? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. And so in this game, and this is something overall that I've noticed is that when it comes to Smash Four, there is an increased amount of recovery that's across the cast. It's across the board, right? Yeah. And because of that. It allows you to really pile on increased amounts of aggression because you're not as worried about recovery. For instance, a la Melee, a la PM, you know, where for your playing guys like Spacey's, you can only go so deep going for those shines. Exactly, yeah. Right? Otherwise, you're not going to make it back. <laughs> so, oh gosh, going in there. These guys are great movement, but they're reading each wow. other so well. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Lord Kickout's been doing really well. I haven't seen much of his charge art. He's been going a lot of uh, Duck Hunt. At least from what I've seen from previous tournaments, but right, right. it's nice to see other characters from him. And it's putting in work. I mean, there's a, somewhat of a percent difference, but Charizard being the heavy character and it being Sheik, uh -huh. something with kills, this might as well be an even game right now. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, gosh, Again, you're going deep. the Rock Smash. Oh. That is such a hard read. That's saying, I understand entirely what you're going for. Let me punish you. And because it seems like there would be a fair amount of recovery on it. Let's see if she can finish up with this kill here. Ooh, barely misses the punish on that. Striking back in neutral. And the forward smash. Ooh. Lord Cat God takes it. A very, I'd say a slight upset here. Oh, absolutely. You know, Denti uh, being one. one of those, uh, being one of T-Lock's finest, really Definitely. representing Smash 4. And, man, that's crazy. I love it, though. But, you know, from the other times that I've come here and I've commentated on Shockwave, man, Lord Cat God, no slouch for sure, man. He's oh, no, no. He is definitely a yeah. definitely contender right here. This guy's terrifying, but that hair is beautiful. I absolutely <laughs> yeah, no, love that, dude. It's crazy. Oh, I love the hair. That's real sick. All right, let's get into... Oh, oh okay, I like it. Oh, his Diddy. Okay, All right. probably his strongest character right now. No, it's, it's mainly what he's been going to. Oh. Um, I haven't seen a Sheik in a while, like I said previously, so... 
Might be a little bit out of practice there, but we'll see what go happens here in the game too. Taking it back to Battlefield. I can give you a good guess. We're gonna get some hoo -hahs. I'm gonna yeah, give you a good I, guess. I, I would, yeah, that's probably a safe bet here. <laughs> <laughs> but man, I like the blue Charizard. That was a good. This was very I really important. Like it. That character, that you know, color swap, mm -hmm. big power up. No, I'm kidding, guys. Don't worry about it. It's not really that big, but it looks nice. I like this. Now I don't know if you remember this, but every time I see this color of Charizard, uh -huh. I think of the old blueberry pop tarts. Do you oh, remember? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to anyone in stream that <laughs> blueberry <laughs> Charizards. <laughs> yes. This is what happens when you eat too many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of the side effects. Oh, gosh, and there you go, punishing that. You can't use that. If you land down, there is a little bit of recovery there, and that's why you see that forward smash. Well placed, well spaced. I see the thing about, I think for this matchup, as far as Diddy goes, he is very strong on stage, but his recovery can be taken advantage of, whereas I don't think you're going to have to worry too much about him going off stage to get a Gimp on you. Mm -hmm. That's just one thing that's usually I don't worry about against a Diddy. Now, the reason why you saw Lord Cat God lose a stock there is because he invested way too much into that Rock Smash. You saw him really invest, and you saw the recovery there was too much, and that's where the punishment came in from T-Lock's Denti. Yeah, it was a very nice play there, recognizing that and punishing properly. Nice footstool. Oh, that could have been it if he would have just timed that Nair just a little bit yes. later. Yes. Unfortunate. Let's see if he can bring anything back. He's got stage presence. Good. Oh, wow. Excellent stuff. This neutral is ridiculous. Now, that banana peel came out, but it disappeared? Yeah, that's one change they've made to this game. After it hits, it does disappear. What? Yeah, so... Is this... Is this Okay, is this something for custom, or is this, like, gen no, in that, general? No, that's just standard. That's He's not standard using any now. customs. This is standard Diddy, yes. I actually really like that. Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, that's great. Yes! <laughs> Okay. Oh, nice side set, man. They're just going back and forth. Oh, Finally another gets one! It. And Denti takes it with a, a solid two stock. That was fantastic. Two times there, it was two solid reads with forward smashes that ended off those stocks from Lord Cat God. Exactly. I think it's getting a little predictable now, and Denti's starting to catch on. He's definitely a smart player. Yes. And that's and that's what you can expect from high level players is yeah, exactly. when you look at high level play, it really comes down to understanding the habits of the play person sitting right next to you. Mm -hmm. and really getting in their head and then saying, um, so this is how you react in that last situation. I'm going to guess that I'm going to put this here. And it works, or it doesn't. I mean, that's really what high-level play comes down to, is those mm -hmm. levels of understanding your opponent and then reacting and countering. All right, well, let's take it to game three. Let's see, Lord Cat God. Ooh, Omega. Oh, what's the name of the stage? Great cave offensive. There we go. <laughs> Slipped my mind for a second. <laughs> but yeah, like we were saying, let's see if Lord Cat God can now bring it back to Yo. that adaptation of his own here. Villager hype? I love Villager. this character. Yeah, I this love watching this such character. Such a quirky character. I love it. Because you know what's funny? The funniest thing that I think I found out about it, big shout outs to, to, to True Phoenix, by the way. Um, love you, girl. <laughs> there is... Uh, the funny thing about this character is the fact that she can capture all these projectiles, right? Mm -hmm. So literally almost everything that Mega Man shoots out can be captured. Yes. It's I'm, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, it can be very annoying, especially in this matchup specifically. When she takes the banana, oh, yeah. that's it. He's done. He cannot take out another one. So she can pocket the oh, banana and keep it the whole match if she doesn't, as long as she's... Even through socks. I'm not sure about socks if she still holds on to it. That's incredible. But yeah, that's definitely a good tool that... Also, amazing recovery. Uh -huh. Villager can go really deep. Yeah. Such a, and with Diddy, with his recovery being uh, prone to being gimped, it's definitely a strong character for this matchup, I believe. Well, yeah, and even then with Villager, that that little, uh, I don't know what you call it, the rocket the Gyroid? I want to say Gyroid. Gyroid, yes. Uh, those gyros, she can actually ride on top of if she double taps on B. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, and in addition to that, she has this awesome up B, which you kind of mash on B, and it kind of lets you kind of flap the wings and go oh, that yeah, much higher. Yeah. Villager's yeah. recovery is... Argu arguably the best in the game. It's You don't gimp this character. <laughs> no. <laughs> and like I said earlier, he now has the banana pocket. So now Diddy is without a banana. It's going to nerf his grab game. He doesn't have any... Uh, mo his most reliable setup into grab. But he can still down tilt into grab right there. Right, right. Oh, wow. Oh, no. I'm not going to get the bear there. Yeah, see, he tried to pull yeah, the he banana. Did he <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I really like that. That's a really good change. Uh, but uh, that's so powerful in this matchup. Mm. Oh, you see, planting the seeds. Yeah. Planting the seeds of war. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, wait. Yes, we're going to. Okay. Are we going to. Please, please Need smash him with that. I don't. Diddy's got presence right now. He's not going to let him have that. He's oh, not going to no. get behind the tree. Oh. oh, we got the first hit. 
dude, if oh my god, oh no, it's fading no, away. It's fading away. It's fading away. Set so, up again. so this is something that I'm I'm curious about is so say I'm playing villager and say okay. I just put the tree out. Now the hatchet. Oh Great man, Fourth of July combos. Now it might be down eight percent. Oh, up throw. Up here. Not you, quite you the who we were expected. Yeah, not not but exactly the same. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> I, I guess he's gonna same. take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take what they give you. But no, fantastic. That's crazy. I love yep. it. I love it. Down throw ups, up throw. It doesn't matter. No, nah, it doesn't matter. It's coming. We <laughs> we we gonna take stocks here. We're here in the business of taking stocks when matters. you play Diddy. Yeah, definitely. <laughs>